everyone, I'm Kellen. All right, our Bible story today comes from the book of Acts. Jesus had already died and rose again. Then Jesus gave his followers a mission to share his story with the whole world. One of his followers was a guy named Paul. Now, Paul had an amazing story too. He was traveling on the road one day to actually have people who believed in Jesus thrown in jail when Jesus himself appeared to Paul in a bright light. After that, Paul spent the rest of his life traveling all around the world telling people the good news about Jesus. Our story today took place almost 2,000 years ago when Paul was in Athens, Greece. Here I am in Athens, waiting for my friends Silas and Timothy. Where are they? Look at all these statues made to different gods. A god of war? A goddess of corn? Oh, it makes me so upset. And here, an altar to an unknown god? I must go to the market. Paul went to the market to tell the good news about Jesus. He talked to anyone who would listen. Let me tell you about Jesus. He was God's son, and although he died, God raised him from the dead. What is this fellow chattering about? Seems he's talking about gods we've never even heard about. We, we must get, get him to, to the Areopagus. Athens was a place where people came from all over to discuss new ideas. The Areopagus was one of those places where this happened. Now, Paul was taken to the Areopagus and the people had questions. What is this new teaching you're giving us? You have some strange ideas we've never heard before. We would like to know what they mean. People of Athens, I see that you are very religious in every way. As I walked around, I looked at the things you worship. I found an altar to an unknown God. So you don't know what you're worshiping? Now I'm going to tell you about this unknown God. We're, We're listening. listening. In Athens, there were statues to all different kinds of gods. Paul could have just been angry about this, but instead, he found an opportunity to tell the Athenians the story of the creator of the universe, the one true God. He is the God who made the world and everything in it. He doesn't live in temples made by human hands. He's not served by human hands. The God I'm telling you about today gives life and breath to all people. Paul told them that God made people all over the world, and he decided where they would live. Then Paul said, God did this so that people would seek him, and perhaps they would reach out for him and find him. They would find him even though he is not far from any of us. In him we live and move and exist, as some of your own poets have also said, we are his children. Yes, we are God's children. Many people thought of God as someone that was distant, separate, someone that was different and to be feared. But Paul was telling them about the God that we know, a God who loves us so much that we're treated and cared for like we are God's children. So we shouldn't think that God is made out of silver or gold or stone. <gasps> he isn't a statue made by clever people. God has proved this to everyone by raising Jesus from the dead. This guy is certified nuts. I think I'd like to hear more. After Paul had given his sermon and told the people about Jesus, some people made fun of him, but others, Others continued to listen and ask questions, and guess what? Some even became followers of Jesus. All this happened because Paul was willing to go where the Lord sent him. There are a lot of stories in the Bible about Jesus' disciples being willing to go somewhere for Jesus. They moved where Jesus was leading them. Sometimes that was around the world, and sometimes it was right there in their own town or cities. Sometimes they were asked to move into uncomfortable or difficult situations, but they were never alone. And here's the incredible part. If you're a follower of Jesus, you're a part of that same story. Jesus may one day lead you to go and help share his amazing good news with the world. 
You can do what Jesus says, believe who he is, love who he loves, and share what he did. So let's go. Let's go where Jesus leads. Ready, set, move.